Kawan kawin tau tau. Program to Abanti Houtin. Next, I would like to call upon President KSO Delhi and NCR uh, for his introductory remarks. Mr. President, wherever you are, the stage is yours. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
न्यूज़पेपर अथाउे सगी अपीबा न्यूज आइटम जंगा तो जगह हे अपीबा जर्नलिस्ट हो रिपोर्टर से सभी बोल जो अब बोल जो रिपोर्ट नाचो एम कह चलो हिचो रिसर्च रिपोर्ट हिजो เฮียอ่ะมอนอัสตะดีนาวาจออัสเซจุเปฮัมกิลกีไอเอลเอลกิลตอดีไอดายฮิเซนีอ่านัสตะอะคริติกัลแอนาลิซิสอะบอนาว
मेरा आप लोगों के साथ पहले से गहरा रिश्ता है कहीं कि मेरी मैडम के जो हस्बैंड है आज नहीं है हम उनके साथ पहले से हम लोग का एक रिलेशन रहा है और जब भी हम लोग उनके घर जाते हैं हम लोग का गहरी रिश्ता है कि आप लोगों के साथ में जो हुआ है मणिपुर में ये बहुत ही निंदीय घटना है और हम इस मंच के द्वारा आप लोगों के साथ जो अहिंसा हो रहा है उस सारे अहिंसा को इस दिल्ली प्रदेश में और दूसरे प्लेटफॉर्म में भी मैं उठाऊंगा मैं एक सोसाइटी का प्रेसिडेंट हूं और यहां के असंगठित लोगों के साथ भी बहुत अन्याय अत्याचार ये घटनाएं दिल्ली में भी होती है अब दिल्ली में ही नहीं भारत के कोने कोने में जो भी आदिवासियों के साथ जो घटनाएं घटती हैं उनके विरोध में आवाज उठाते हैं अभी बीच में बीच में हमारे झारखंड से भी हमारे पॉलिटिशियन आए थे तो उनके द्वारा भी हम लोग यहाँ उनके साथ कंधे से कंधा मिला के उनको भी मदद किया था आज आप लोगों के साथ ही नहीं पूरे भारत में जितने भी हमारे आदिवासी भाई बहन हैं पिछड़े हैं दलित हैं उनके साथ बहुत अन्याय अत्याचार हो रहा है इसके लिए हम सभी लोगों को संगठित होना पड़ेगा प्रिय भाई एवं बहनों आज मैं मणिपुर के मुख्यमंत्री से यही अपील करूंगा इस मंच से इस जंतर मंतर की इस धरती से कि वहां के जितने भी हमारे कुकी भाई बहन जो वहां रहते हैं उन सारे लोगों को शांति सुरक्षा बहाल करें उनके हित में काम करें और साथ ही हम इस मंच से हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी जी से हम अपील करेंगे कि वहां के जितने भी हमारे भाई बहन हैं उनके साथ जो अन्याय अत्याचार हुआ है मणिपुर में जाइए उनके साथ बैठ के बात कीजिए और उनका समस्या सुनिए और वहां शांति बहाल कीजिए साथ ही हम इस जंतर मंतर के स्टेज स्टेज से मैं हमारे होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह जी से भी बोलना चाहूंगा कि ऐसे अन्याय अत्याचार हमारे देश में हमारे दलित लोगों के साथ में नहीं होना चाहिए अविलम मणिपुर ही नहीं पूरे भारत के जितने भी आदिवासी लोग हैं उनके साथ आप न्याय दीजिए मैं इसके साथ साथ मणिपुर में जो हमारे माताएं बहनें जो हिंसा में मारे गए हैं उन सारे लोगों को दिल से उनका नमन करता हूं कि आज वहां के लोगों के सुरक्षा हेतु वहां के नियम कानून हेतु वे अपने आप को बलिदान दे दिए एक इतिहास में ये लिखा जाएगा आज हर जगह हमारे समाज में आदिवासियों के साथ ही अन्याय अत्याचार हो रहा है इसके लिए हम सभी लोगों को संगठित होना होगा नियम कानून जानना होगा उसी हिसाब से हम आगे बढ़ सकते हैं आज मैं इस मन से यही बोलना चाहूंगा कि हमारे आदिवासी समाज के साथ हर जगह अन्याय अत्याचार हो रहा है बेसिकली मैं झारखंड से हूँ हमारे झारखंड में भी ये बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट ने हमारे झारखंड के गवर्नमेंट को गिराया ये हमेशा अन्याय अत्याचार हमारे साथ ही क्यों कर रहे हैं लेकिन वहाँ के मुख्यमंत्री ने कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं किया आज अपने आप को सेक्रीफाइस कर दिया और सेक्रीफाइस करके जेल चले गए वो बहुत जल्दी वापस आएंगे और वो हमारे झारखंड सरकार वहाँ गिरा नहीं हम बिकने वाले में से नहीं हैं हम लड़ने वाले में से हैं हम एकजुट होकर अन्याय अत्याचार के खिलाफ आवाज उठाएंगे जय हिंद जय भारत थैंक यू
जी को तहे दिल से निवेदन करते हैं कि वो कुकीजों के साथ सपनों को और हकीकत को दोनों को समझे और हमारे हमें न्याय दिलाने के न्याय दिलाने के लिए कदम उठाइए मैं फिर से बोलती हूँ हम आज अधर्मीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री मोदी जी को और गृह मंत्री श्री अमित शाह जी को तहे दिल से निवेदन करते हैं कि वो कुकी जो के सपनों को और हकीकत को दोनों को समझे और हमें दिलाई न्याय दिलाने के कदम उठाए जय हिंद जय हिंद जय भारत विश्वविद्यालय มาเลยจบเลยครับดาวาเจ็บฟังมาเลยอุณาวกาลังกำลังรับไหลนาหูไปพร้อมเต็งเก่งนบนจานะสังเกียร์ดูเก่งกันเกี่ยนเดียวเ
an issue called uh, topic CBI NI in action and cookie Joe FOCD. Before I speak on the topic, I would like to uh, remind, uh, remind one saying said by Thomas Jefferson of United States. He said that when government fears the people, it is liberty. But when people fear the government, it's tyranny. Now in this context, the topic, the CBI and NIA in action. In fact, I would say, until and unless the matter comes before them, uh, either by a complaint lost by the victim, or a matter transferred by the High Court or the Honorable Supreme Court, they cannot come in so moto. So, I am uh, aware that there are certain matters which the CBI has taken over the investigation because the direction was been given by the Honorable Supreme Court. And second, NIA has also taken up certain investigation because of the MHA has given the uh, has taken up the investigation in that matter. So as a lawyer, as an officer of the court, it will be improper to me to comment on subjudice matters. But dear friends, I have got something else to speak. That thing is that where do we go from now? From here? Where do we go? What has happened in Manipur after from the May 3rd? If you all recollect, there was a yeah, thank you. There was a total failure on the part of the state administration. Then, where did you people go? Where did So as I was saying, after the Manipur violence started, where did you people go? We all approached the Honorable Supreme Court. And whatever the Honorable Apex Court has passed order time and time, I think if the Honorable Apex Court would not interfere, It's coming. Uh, as, as I was saying before, after the violence has started, the government was unable to control it. Then our colleagues from the various organizations they approached the Honorable Apex Court. And we all are aware how the Honorable Apex Court dealt with this matter. And I, being an officer of the court, not only in the court, even outside, I say with conviction that if the Honorable Apex Court do not have interfered in this matter, the situation would have been much more worse. And there are certain matters which have come up in the High Court and we are appearing in those matters. But as I told, I am constrained to speak on subjudice matter. But I can say one thing to every one of you. That be whatever happened. There may be 
गवर्नमेंट इन एक्शन गवर्नमेंट that if the government fail to perform their duties responsibilities that is protection of life liberty property and everything where do we go the only institution i will say is the judiciary that we are not against anyone we are against the violence that has been perpetrated we are against the lawful ways in the state we are against the violation of the fundamental rights of a citizen of this country we are we are here to see let me put it in another way today india our country is moving ahead in the committee of nations this type of incidents which happen in manipur it brings bad image to the nation in the committee of nations so it is the responsibility and duty of everyone so that we take steps to protect preserve and honor our national identity our nation's identity and how do we do that if we are agreed by any any inaction or actions excessive which the state is not supposed to do or which the state is patronizing a particular group or class of people the only option is approach the court approach the court i am telling you my dear friends the courts are there to protect you courts are there to see that the principles of the constitution does not get diluted so i won't speak much more i will just request every one of you to rise for one minute and make a mark of silence to the pay regards and tribute to the fallen victims in the state of manipur please Thank you everyone. Jai Hind. Thank you Mr. Burgahai. Uh announcement khatauma there anyone with any medical emergency we have um uh, first aid kit and medical kit uh, available here if if anyone has any emergency. Now I would like to call uh Ma'am Madhu Prasad, she's the founder of All India Forum for Right to Education. She wants to share her solidarity. She would speak few lines on the same. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am so ha uh, happy to see all of you here protesting against what is happening in Manipur. 
Unfortunately, the media does not give us the information that we need and the solidarity that we need in order to continue our struggles. We are an organization of students and teachers which has over a hundred associations that are members of our uh, organization. And I want on their behalf, we are sitting here next to you uh, on the issue of education and on the behalf of my organization, I wish to express the fullest solidarity with the Kuki people, with the people of Manipur and we want to express a concern about how the government is allowing a situation to deteriorate and not looking at what is happening to the people of that state and how they are to live their lives in peace and harmony. Without peace and harmony, we who are a diverse nation can never be a united nation. If we are not able to have peace and harmony amongst ourselves, irrespective of the differences that it may exist between us, we all want a decent human life and we have a constitutional right to that. So on that behalf, on behalf of my organization, I express my deepest solidarity to all of you. Thank you for giving me this time. Thank you, ma'am, uh, for your encouragement, and uh, we really appreciate it. About now, his slogan is that he is not going to be able to do it. Are we ready for the next round of our slogan, everyone? Yeah. 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 Hello. Um, so can I mess up the way now? Now it will be a little different. Can I ask all of us to stand for some time, please? Ra adimote na. Pati sa ipen di ready na. Thank you, ma'am. Tu la tu a hinse right to education tu a hinse nu tu a ti pa tu hinse ibin something related to education. Langa hi ina sab di wa kade sa karomen. Ito hi na. When I say Kuki Zolan, you will say university, university. All right? Are you with me? Yeah. And the second will be Union Territory with legislature. Katile. Only solution, only solution. All right? Let's go. This is demo. Kuki Zolan. Twice, okay? University, university. Let's go again. Cookie Zolan! University! University! Cookie Zolan! University! University! Cookie Zolan! University! University! Second, you need territory with legislature. Only solution. Only solution. You need territory with legislature. I want your placards to be up in the air, okay? One more thing. When I say, Cookie Joe Chate Joe say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, all right? Cookie Joe Chate Joe say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Cookie Joe Chate Joe say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You need territory with legislature? Only solution, only solution. You need territory with legislature? Only solution, only solution. Cookie Joe. I think uh, we're good enough, good to proceed to the next item. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Uh, can we have the Cookie Joe artist on stage for a song, please? Cookie Joe artist, how do say stay to now?
no artist. Now let's be reminded that we have supporters all over the country, all over the world. Because the truth always prevails. We have amongst us so agnostos heroes who filed our blue case in the Supreme Court. I welcome him on the stage. Thank you so much. I'm um, actually quite um, speechless and heartbroken for the um, last many many days and weeks and months. What should have been a fundamental right, like uh, a um, lawyer who spoke just before me said, your life to liberty, your right to liberty, your right to life is a fundamental constitutional and a human right. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So why is that not being honored? Why are you having to protest here again and again and again? And it's nine months of a civil war. A civil war. What? Are the governments, the administration, and every single person responsible to ensure that the country stays lawful, that the people's right to life, liberty, education, freedom, and every single thing which is documented in our constitution is honored? What are they doing? My friend, the lawyer, also spoke that the CBI. The NIA cannot take action until and unless some complaint is sent to them. But I want to inform all of you and my lawyer friend that starting in September, I had written to the CBI, the NIA. This is the first letter I wrote to the CBI. This was sent to the Ministry of Home Affairs, it was sent to the Ministry of Defense, it was sent to the National Investigation Agency, it was sent to the Central Bureau of Investigation, it was sent to the Chief Minister of Delhi, it was sent to the Chief Minister of Manipur. Again in December, I wrote a letter to the National Investigation Agency. Now all this is work which is besides the petition in the Supreme Court of India. And civilian like me had to approach the Supreme Court of India, file an intervention application to make sure that the arms loot, which had become like a Hindi word called arm loot, koi bhi ja ke ja ke gun churale. is it a joke that one can steal so many thousands of guns and thousands of bombs and lakhs of bullets in this country. So in this letter in December, I asked the National Investigation Agency and I also marked every single other person responsible. Who are those people I asked these questions to? I wrote also mark this copy to the Honorable President of India. I mark this letter to the General of Indian Army, General Manoj Pandey. I mark this letter also to the Chief Justice of India. Again to the Central Bureau of Investigation. I mark this letter to Mr. Ajit Dawal, who is the National Security Advisor. And I mark this letter to the Gita Mittal Committee formed by the Supreme Court. I asked in my letter, it's a long letter, but my basic questions are that when Ms. Mahua Mohitra was expelled from the parliament on the basis of threat to national security, then who will expel all those who have caused the gravest threat to national security? Who will expel this government? Who will expel all those in the positions of power who are supposed to ensure that a gravest threat to national security does not occur? I ask them very clearly. Today you have let loot of bullets and bombs 
and guns, what will be next? Will it be tanks and missiles and nuclear weapons? Will India be allowed to become a rogue terrorist state under the watch of agencies? Today, all this loot of arms and ammunition has become a threat to global security because as per reports, these arms are being exported out of India and can be used anywhere. Why are administration agencies not worried? Why does the CBI go and raid a harsh mandar, but they are not raiding those responsible for the gravest threat to national security? Why will the NIA go and make other raids which look like they are politically motivated, but still the perpetrators of the biggest loot in the history of independent India still roam free? Why is Manipur being trusted back into militancy? Why do reports come that Manipur may suffer for the next 20-30 years because of a revival of militancy? Where are the agencies is my question to the NIA and to the CBI to the Home Ministry. A few days back I wrote another letter to the Minister for Parliamentary Affairs Mr. Pralhad Joshi asking that when the Parliament of India can take immediate action on those people who caused a threat by breaching the Parliament security, which also is quite surprising that the new Parliament, some people were just able to enter the new Parliament and cause a security threat, when those people have been imposed with UAPA, then why not those responsible for the gravest threat to the country? Despite Supreme Court orders, in August itself, after my intervention application was filed, the Honorable Apex Court directed the committee and the special officer appointed, Mr. Datta Tre Patsalgikar, that you should register FIRs under all the stringent sections of the government of the IPC, of the Arms Act and Anti-Terrorism Act. Where are those people? Why do those people still roam around free? Why is every single individual who was responsible to safeguard the weapons, to safeguard the lives and to safeguard the state of Manipur and to safeguard the nation why are they not in jail already? I am pleased to tell you that the Honorable President of India, Srimati Dharapati Murmu, has taken cognizance of that letter written to the Parliamentary Affairs Minister and has now instructed the Home Ministry to act on that and take action immediately. What I feel is it's a disgrace that people have to come out and plead that the PM is silent. Why do you have to plead? Isn't it his responsibility to ensure your life and safety? So stop calling him G, 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 G. He is Narendra Modi. He is your Prime Minister and he works for you. You don't work for him, you are the taxpayers. And anybody who says or challenges that you don't pay taxes, show them the next invoice that you pay in any shop, any restaurant, any store. Every single person in this country pays taxes in various manners. So I am, through this forum, once again requesting, reminding and demanding every single agency responsible for the safety and security of the country, of the citizen to take action immediately. I also want to say that everyone unfortunately who is suffering just the way the lady who is 
doing some work for the education sphere. There are various others who are suffering in various manners. Everyone needs to come together for Manipur and for India. We are one seventh of the human population. India is one seventh of the human population. We need to all come together and fight this battle together.